Forget aliens building pyramids, that's so yesterday. The real head-scratcher is how the Egyptians built these massive columns, 20 meters tall, 3 meters wide. Imagine thousands of workers hauling and stacking these giant stones, all without the help of modern machinery. The construction of the enormous columns in ancient Egypt, particularly seen in the hypostyle hall at the Karnak Temple, was a remarkable feat of engineering and craftsmanship. The ancient Egyptians primarily used locally available materials for their constructions. The columns were typically made from large blocks of sandstone, limestone, and red granite. Over time, they began to construct columns from stacks of stone discs or cylindrical discs. But how did they transport these massive stones? They used sledges, ropes, and the power of human labor. Every column was not just a structural element, but a canvas that told a story. For instance, the 134 papyrus columns in the Great Hypostyle Hall at Karnak represented the primeval papyrus swamp, from which Atum, a self-created deity, arose from the waters of Nun at the beginning of creation. This symbolism was deeply rooted in their religious beliefs. The process of constructing these massive columns involved stacking stones wider than the final column width, creating a temporary support structure with soil and small stones. As they ascended, stones were meticulously placed until the column reached its summit. This method required careful planning and precise execution to ensure the stability and longevity of the columns. Once the column was complete, the surface was polished and hieroglyphs were carved into the stone. These hieroglyphs often depicted religious or royal narratives, adding another layer of cultural significance to these architectural marvels. Additionally, vibrant paintings often adorned the column, adding to the visual impact. Despite the passage of millennia, many of these columns have survived, testament to the skill and knowledge of the ancient Egyptian builders. They continue to captivate modern audiences with their grandeur and intricacy, providing a glimpse into the remarkable civilization that created them. Crafting enormous columns like those found in ancient Egyptian temples required a combination of skilled labor, meticulous planning, and innovative engineering techniques. These structures stand as enduring monuments to the civilization's architectural achievements and continue to inspire awe and admiration today. So next time you marvel at an architectural wonder, remember the ancient Egyptians who started it all.